Financial markets had a very good start in 2021, with many equity indices registering double-digit percentage gains as of April. We are getting used to new record highs in indices like the Dow Jones Industrials as risk aversion among investors has been receding. This is somewhat surprising as rising COVID-19 infection rates and ongoing lockdowns, particularly in Europe, have dented optimism for a quick reopening in the first quarter this year. Nevertheless, financial markets are a discounting machine and the hope for a strong economic rebound in the next couple of quarters remains firmly in place. This hope is real and supported by recent economic data. Green shoots are gaining ground and recent macro data are signaling that we are in for a summer of very positive economic data. Once vaccinations are delivered to the majority of the population, consumers will likely come out and spend whatever they can. Businesses will invest more to be able to cope with demand and fiscal stimulus will continue to support final demand. As a result of better growth and higher inflation ahead, bond yields have moved substantially higher in Q1. However, the US Federal Reserve remains committed to keeping monetary policy accommodative and currently sees the pickup in inflation as transitory. For now, the dynamic of interest rates increases at the long end of the yield curve is expected to moderate, but risks appear to be tilted to the upside on the back of robust fundamentals. We expect higher interest rates by the end of the year, both in the US and in Europe. In our fixed income allocation, we therefore remain underweight in duration, especially in government and investment grade bonds. On the other hand, the risk return profile of high yield bonds remains attractive, and the same applies selectively to emerging market bonds. Despite a difficult start to the year, we consider the latter to be a good addition to the multi-asset portfolio, both from a growth and a diversification perspective. The negative impact of sharply rising US interest rates and the strong US dollar should ease, releasing corresponding catch-up potential for local currency emerging market bonds. Implied volatility in equity markets, which remained at elevated levels in the months following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, has also fallen significantly recently. The environment for equities therefore remains solid. Lower risk aversion among investors is likely to lead to continued strong inflows into the asset class, boosting equity prices further. On the other hand, investor sentiment and investor positioning is now extended on most metrics, which makes the equity market more vulnerable to negative news. On balance, we expect markets to grind higher, but the risk of a setback is increasing and it might be worthwhile considering taking some profits in the coming weeks. While the upside at the equity index level has diminished since the start of the year, we think that the rotation from growth into value will continue. Small and medium-sized companies in particular are benefiting from the coming growth rebound. Those market segments are still attractively valued and show positive momentum. We therefore remain overweight in these areas and see temporary setbacks as buying opportunities. On the regional level, we remain overweight in developed market equities with a focus on cyclical regions outside the US. In our asset allocation, we stick to our pro-risk positioning with an overweight in equities and an underweight in high-quality bonds. We admit that financial markets have already anticipated the economic rebound and stronger growth has largely been priced in. Nevertheless, in an upswing, investors are usually surprised positively by the magnitude of the rebound in growth and earnings. We are probably behind peak performance in terms of investment returns, but more moderate gains should still lead to a decent portfolio performance from now on until the end of the year. With that in mind, we should not give up hope and should be looking forward to a really nice summer.